It's time to start becoming her. You know, that version of yourself that you've always dreamed of. It's time to stop waiting around another year, another month, or for this or that to happen. The time is now because the woman of your dreams is waiting for you. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Jills and I help women step into their power, tap into their divine feminine and transform their lives. So if that's something you wanna do, you should stick around. So when I say becoming the woman of your dreams, I'm talking about becoming the best possible version of yourself. The type of woman you've always dreamed of being. Not for anyone else, not to please your parents, not to impress a man, but for you. Becoming the woman of your dreams so that you can fully tap into your potential and live your life to the fullest. But before I dive in though, I've got something super exciting to share. I created two affordable digital products for you guys, all about stepping into your power, tapping into your feminine energy and becoming that dream woman. First is my feminine energy meditation. It is so powerful. I am obsessed with it. I may be biased because I made it, but this meditation is so potent for specifically healing and activating your feminine energy. I also have the woman of your dreams workbook. It's the 30 day guided journaling workbook. So it has very specific targeted journal prompts in there for you all about fostering self-discovery, tapping into your feminine energy and figuring out what's holding you back and creating your dream life. All the journal prompts are already all in there. All you have to do is follow along day by day and you can either print it out and write on it that way or you can just type directly on the PDF itself because I did make it editable, you know, just in case you don't have a printer or don't wanna to go to a printing place. And these are both instant downloads so you'll get them right away. So if you feel like you've been a little stuck lately, you wanna tap more into your feminine power and you're serious about upgrading yourself and your life, then these are for you. You can either get them separately or together at a bundle price. And I am just so excited about these. I worked really hard to get them perfect for you. So if you are interested, I'll leave the link for that in the description box below so you can find it there. And if you're not interested, that's okay too. I just appreciate you being here. So thanks for listening to my spiel and let's get into the video. So I'm going to get right to the point. If you want to start becoming the woman of your dreams, you have to start harnessing the identity of your dream self and acting from that identity. Think of your your highest self, the girl who's already become who you desire to be, the girl who's already living the life you desire to live. How does she act? What does she think? What does she believe? How does she view herself? What does her schedule look like? Where does her energy go? What does she spend time on? Who does she spend time with? How does she look? How does she dress? What is her identity? And with every fiber of your being, tap into that identity now. Become her now. Don't wait for external circumstances to occur to be able to feel what she feels like. Feel it now. Be her now. Harness that identity. Think from that identity. Act from that identity. Now, obviously act within reason, right? Like your dream self might always fly first class, but you purchasing first class tickets all the time might not be the most financially responsible thing for you to do right now. But you still need to purchase economy class tickets with the identity of a first class kind of girl. Maybe even splurge on a little bit of economy plus sometimes. But so often we get stuck in the identity of someone we don't wanna be. Someone who's chronically single. Someone who has anxiety and stresses all the time, someone who struggles, someone who's always unlucky, someone who always has health issues, someone who's always broke. These are identities that we've created for ourselves without even realizing it. It's a subconscious thing, but a lot of these identities don't serve us because we shift our world to fit our identity. It's usually not the other way around. Meaning if you identify as someone who is always broke, your subconscious mind will make sure that you are in fact always broke so that your reality is in line with your identity. If you want to create the reality you want and become the person you want to be, it starts with identity. It starts with an internal shift, an internal feeling, because that internal state affects everything else. You have to start convincing yourself over and over again that you are her, that you are lucky. Everything always works out for you. You light up every room you walk into, whatever it is. I'm going to be real with you. These subconscious patterns, and these old identities are not easy to shift. It takes conscious effort for a consistent amount of time. Visualize her constantly. See her, feel her, dress like her, look like her, think like her, live like her to the best of your ability, but most importantly, tap into that identity. And that brings me to affirmations. Affirmations can be very powerful if you do them the right way. The trick with affirmations is that the words don't really matter that much. I mean, they do, but not as much as you think. It's about how those words make you feel. It's all about tapping into a specific 
feeling. The reason why affirmations are so powerful and can be so effective is because when you tap into that feeling, it helps you to shift your identity. It's as simple as that. So start consistently saying to yourself whenever you have time, you know, whether you're driving to work or going on a walk or getting ready in the morning, saying little affirmations to yourself that support this new version of yourself. And that help to solidify that identity you're trying to create. Things like I am magnetic. People are naturally drawn to my radiant, confident energy. I get what I want easily. I am capable. I am wealthy and abundant. I am beautiful. I don't have to chase. My feminine energy attracts. I am vibrantly healthy and fit. You know, whatever affirmations you like. But here's the key though. You have to actually feel them. You can't just say them. You have to feel them. If you're not feeling them in your body, it's likely a waste of your time. So what if you can't? What if there are certain affirmations that you know you need, that you know you need help with, but you just can't? feel it. You can't believe it. You can't get on board with it. Then you have to word them differently in a way that you can believe. So let me give you an example. Several years ago, I had a bit of a mini health crisis, developed an autoimmune issue. And so my biggest goal was to become healthy again and to heal my body naturally. But when I would say affirmations like, I am healthy. I have so much energy. My body is healed. I feel good in my body. My body is so strong and vibrant. I couldn't do it. I mean, I could say them, but I couldn't feel them. There was no way that I was ever going to believe that because, you know, I was standing there in the mirror in pain saying, I am healthy. I feel great. And it wasn't working. And that's when I realized I had to shift the wording a little bit to make it something that I could feel something that was still positive, but something that I could get behind and actually believe. So for me, just the simple shift of saying something like every day, my body is healing more and more, or I am in the process of healing and my body is working for me, not again me. All of a sudden I could feel that. I could believe that. I could get on board with that. And saying those affirmations made me feel good and it changed everything for me. So if you're doing affirmations and it's just not working because you can't feel it, you just can't get on board with it. You can't believe it. Then you might need to take it back a little bit. And instead of saying something like, I have unstoppable confidence. You can say something like every day I feel my confidence growing more and more, or I am in the process of, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever it is. You have to believe it to be able to feel it. Okay. So let's switch directions for a second. Let's say we know who our dream self is. We know her identity. We know some good affirmations for her. And we're going to try to tap into that identity as much as we can. But again, it's not always easy to shift these things because a lot of us have negative core beliefs that we hold hold on to and keep us stuck. So let me explain what those are. Most of us have at least one or two big negative limiting beliefs that were created from childhood that really hold us back. And I mean, you could have more, but a lot of people have just like one really big one that holds them back in many capacities. Things like I'm not capable. I'm not good enough. I'm a failure. I'm a disappointment. I'm unlovable. People close to me will hurt me. I'm not safe. I'm never happy. And if we don't bring awareness to it, it will live with us for the rest of our life. And this is part of the reason why tapping into a new identity can be so challenging because it oftentimes directly challenges our big negative core belief that we have. And the funny thing with these core beliefs is the way that we try to protect ourselves from these beliefs coming true is usually how we further reinforce the belief. So if you have a negative core belief of being a failure, you know, like not being good enough, not being capable, oftentimes this fear will prevent you from going after what you want. And because you never go after what you want, you never achieve what you want further reinforcing the fact that you are a failure and you're not good enough. Or if you have a negative core belief that you are unlovable, you might avoid romantic relationships and close friendships. So you don't get rejected, but avoiding these relationships further reinforces the belief that you are unlovable. And it's this vicious cycle that continues and continues until you can bring awareness to it and recognize these patterns. Sometimes becoming the woman of your dreams and creating your dream life is actually very simple. And it's just about getting out of your own way but you won't know how to get out of your own way until you can recognize these patterns and figure out what's keeping you stuck. If you really think about it and think back to childhood specifically, you should be able to figure it out. So what were some of your biggest fears when you were a little girl? 
And are any of those fears still present in your life today? Are they negatively impacting your life today? Mine was that I wasn't good enough and that I wasn't capable. And so whenever I would hear those little voices in my head, this is too hard. You're not good enough for this. You need help with this. I would have to consciously choose to not let fear dictate my choices. And I would have to choose to start thinking differently. This was not something that I could ignore if I wanted to step into my higher self. If I let that core belief control my choices and control who I chose to identify as, I wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't be making my own digital products. I wouldn't have moved across the country to a city where I knew not one single person. There's a lot of things I probably wouldn't have done. I know this step can sound a little bit heavy and maybe this went a little bit deeper than you thought this video was gonna go. But if you just recognize and bring awareness to any big negative core beliefs that you have, you are well on your way to becoming your own dream woman. That right there is half the battle. But with that said, the next point I wanna make is do not overly focus on your problems or your flaws or the things that you need to improve. I think this is a big mistake people make. Focus on what you do want. What you focus on grows. Where your attention goes, energy goes. So if you want to be wealthy, stop focusing on your financial lack. If you want to meet your soulmate and find love, stop focusing on all the negatives of being alone right now. If you want to be healthy, stop focusing on the pain you're feeling in your body. Stop focusing on all the things that are going wrong in your body. Focus on what's going right. If you want to be more confident and have less anxiety, stop focusing so much on the anxiety. Stop giving it so much mental attention. You can acknowledge it and you can recognize it, but don't dwell on it. Focus on what you do want. Focus on how you do want to feel and feel how much better that feels. Sometimes the only reason things continue to persist for as long as they do is because we continue to give them attention. Even with those negative core beliefs that we talked about, it's obviously so important to bring awareness to them and recognize them, but you don't need to dwell on them. You don't need to dwell on the difficult childhood situations that cause those beliefs to form. You don't need to dwell on how much it's impacted your life. You don't need to overly focus on the fear and the pain that you feel from them. Focus on the opposite. Focus on what you want to become. Focus on how you want to feel. Don't get so caught up in identifying the problems and fixing the problems that you get stuck in the problem. This is more common than you think. Don't forget about the important part actually becoming that woman that you've always dreamed of. So next I'm gonna place a good bet here. When you envision your dream woman, I can pretty much bet that 99.9% .9 of you envision her as healthy, fit, looks good, vibrant, has energy. It's pretty much a universal desire that we all want to look good and feel good. And so you have to start treating your body well, nourishing it, giving it love, giving it attention. Your body is a temple. How would your dream woman be treating her body? What does her self-care routine look like? What kind of foods would she eat? What kind of movement would she do? And not just do, but enjoy. What would her skincare routine look like? What would her sleep look like? Would she do some facial massages? Would she drink tea instead of coffee? Would she make herself a healthy breakfast? What would she get dressed in to feel beautiful? How would she style and take care of her hair? Now again, start to become her. Figure out what that dream woman feels like, looks like, how she takes care of herself and start doing it now. Pamper yourself, show yourself and prove to yourself that you are important and that you are worthy. Now with all of this, with everything that I'm talking about, it does require a little bit of discipline. And you know, I talk a lot about feminine energy on this channel, or at least a lot of things that I talk about come from a feminine energy perspective. And you know, having like ease and flow and softness, but it is okay and it is healthy to have some masculine energy too. Here's the thing. Masculine energy creates the structure and the safety for the feminine to thrive. Or in other words, your inner masculine, we all have an inner masculine, needs to give yourself the discipline and support you know you need for your dream woman to be able to come out. Like I mentioned earlier, it takes consistency and commitment to show up as her every single day. But when you decide to commit to that and keep your promises to yourself, keep your commitments to yourself, your inner feminine will feel so much more at peace. This means showing up for yourself, taking care of yourself, and even having the confidence to say no to things that don't align with that dream version of yourself. If your dream self only goes on dates with men who treat you exceptionally well, then you have to have the confidence to say no to everyone who doesn't treat you that way. If your dream self goes to Pilates every Sunday morning in our cute little 
matching set, then you have to have the discipline and the confidence to say no to going out with friends and partying until 3 a.m. that night before. A little bit of commitment and a little bit of loving boundaries and structure goes a long way. Now, I know all this kind of sounds like a lot of work, but I want to remind you that the only reason you desire to be this one of a kind woman of your dreams is because it's meant for you. You already are her. Maybe not in this physical reality right now, but she already exists to some capacity inside you or else you wouldn't be envisioning her. So often we think about our dream self as this whole separate entity. Like we have to totally forget who we are and step into being someone completely different. But through this process, remember that, yeah, although we do have to tap into that identity and that energy of her, you're not trying to become somebody else. You're just trying to step into all that you are, all your potential. So if ever things feel hard or challenging, just remember at the end of the day that all you're trying to do is to just come back to your highest self and that that person is already in there. So how hard could it be? Please let me know if you like this video by hitting the like button. It really helps me out. And again, if you want to check out my new digital products, the link is below in the description box so you can find it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stick around, subscribe if you're not, if you feel oh so inclined. We would love to have you here. If you enjoyed this video, you're probably going to like all the other videos I do. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will see you next time. Bye.